Hello and welcome to another update video about Edgix. Yeah, we are still here in this trend channel. Only yesterday I made the last Edgix video and we highlighted that as long as we're holding the trend line, we can focus on higher. I think we talked about maybe, you know, anybody who wants to do that to, to be able to trade here the the range in which we are. Yeah, and so we saw a reaction to our support level down there um, going up. Yeah, so you have a bit of volatility here. This still looks very choppy still of the opinion at the moment that this is a B wave. Um, I would change my view above 60 cents, but as long as that's the case, uh, I would eventually expect a C wave down, it would just look better. Again, I might change my view depending on what the chart does in the next few days. But for now, um, as long as we're holding the trend channel, we can focus here short term on higher. Eventually, yeah, from an ideal point of view, I think, would be nice to get a clearer low there in a C wave to the downside. But as long as we are in the trend channel, overall, we can focus on higher and anybody who wants to do so can trade the range. Just um, as you can see here after my video yesterday, where we did highlight this support area here, I think we talked even about possibly trading the range with a long trade setup as an idea, never financial advice. Um, we have seen a bit of a reaction to that support area. And now we are on our way back into resistance because this red zone is the resistance level relevant for a B wave as long as we are below the 60 cent level here, the 78.6% um, FIB level. As long as we are below that level, we have to expect further downside eventually. It's just that the downside pressure is then very much still there. However, a break above the 78.6 retrace would increase probabilities of a breakout to the upside. And that would take us to, I think first we said 73 and then maybe even 97 cents. That's all still valid. Not too much has happened given the, uh, or looking at the bigger picture. If we make one more substantial low here, I will have to count the move down as a wave two. Yeah, A, B, C in wave two. At the moment, as long as we're holding this low, because I can't obviously rule out that we will rally from here, I would find it unusual and I would find it unlikely, but it can always happen. Then as long as that's the case and we're holding here the previous wave A low, what I have labeled as A wave now, uh, 33 and a half cents, as long as that's the case, um, I'm counting this as a fourth wave. It doesn't really make a difference sort of in terms of what's coming next. Um, but um, I wouldn't so much look at this. If it's a two or four, it doesn't matter in the short term. What really matters is in the very short term here <clears throat> that it's probably in a corrective structure. So I would un understand that as a B wave at the moment, um, after this impulse down in an A wave, yeah, this looks choppy, fits very well into the picture that we could have here an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. However, let's say Bitcoin Ethereum are going to turn around shortly then this is probably going to give us either a very strong B wave because it's most likely to follow or it will break out. And then we have to say that the wave four indeed ended here and we are rallying in the fifth wave. So those are the two options we have. And I would pay close attention to the 60 cent level. I think at the moment in terms of trade setups, I mean, all you have is that channel. You can trade the range in the channel. That range might adjust and adapt. But for now, it's adhering to our trend lines. And um, based on that, the next target to the upside would be, I mean, if we assume it will reach the trend line again, which it doesn't always do when it moves to the upside, yeah. But if it does, we talk about here 57 cents. Be aware that on the way up, we've got the 50 cent level, which is the 50% retracement, the 54.3 cent level, which is the 61.8 um, retracement, and then here the 60 cent level, which is the 78.6 retracement, all of them probably going to give it some headwinds. I mean, as you can see here, we reached here the 50% FIB level that was um, on the 16th of Feb. Here we reached the 61.8 retracement got rejected. Maybe in another move up here, we are going to reach the 78.6. That's pure speculation. What is relevant at the moment is that we're holding the trend line. And as long as we do in this trend channel, we can short term focus on higher, but just be, need to be on, a, on alert that in this area you can get headwinds and only above that area um, it will come close to a breakout, okay? 
That's my update about Edgix. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.